Boys, I guess you know the news now, and the team of the season has been predicted not to be tomorrow. So I'm not going to beat that dead horse because NHL 94 anniversary, I'm going to hold out hope and hope that it's nothing like this trade deadline event we've seen. But it, it is time for us to do Reward Thursday. Um, I was kind of holding these packs for team of the season, but I'm going to go ahead and just open them. I mean, we're going to do a team of the season pack opening anyways. We're going to make choice packs we're going to build certain ones probably austin matthews specifically but um yeah i mean it kind of sucks i had my hopes up for team of the season this would have been my first team of the season um i've heard from a couple other people that there's a possibility of them releasing two events simultaneously and if that happens i might be punching myself but i think my packs don't have the high odds to pull a team of the season anyways but to start off with i know in the last video with the hut champs i did talk about creating one of the golden knights players uh from our hut champs collectibles i decided against that just because i wanted the packs for team of the season i felt like that was going to be the better choice um uh, i'm stupid yeah i'm stupid for doing that so we've got about 13 packs i've tried to play through some champs and picked up some other ones uh players pack we got from making six wins i think in hut champs nothing crazy we don't expect much out of these but if we get stuff we get stuff there we go 80s yeah and what can you know a couple a couple golds but yeah it kind of sucks that team of the year is not uh tomorrow but we'll see how the event goes uh, i will have a release video for that and Kind of go over it and we'll experience it together because let me tell you the trade deadline was very disappointing i have been able to focus on other things though i was focused on more squad battles and more rivals instead of really just trying to go after things for the event a huberto is not oh this is 83 choice pack I'm, I'm stupid um and you know what just to keep the leaf theme going we also do have our 85 uh toronto headliner pack to open we're hoping for the 95 marner not the not the matthews i just i'd rather have that 95 martyr to play than have a matthews just to kind of use as fodder i mean at this point i think we're looking good on fodder i think we have enough to get us through maybe get us a couple team of the seasons and 83 and 700 coins not bad um and what kind of sucks right now too boys is that the market is tanked i don't know it was something i wasn't paying attention to and then just out of nowhere, I looked and I could get a like 91 for 40,000 coins. It was something crazy. Um, so we, we can thank the thank the Toronto packs for that. And uh, we're still getting nothing, but we do get Marsh Salt. So not a bad pull from these packs. I don't think we we may get something to play. Uh, let's go for the Mega Pack. And we're going to skip the Mega Pack because there is so much in here. can be so much junk. Uh, we did get a purple, boys. We got a purple out of the Mega We got two purples out of the... <gasps> 93 Ron Francis from the Mega Pack. Holy crap. We were talking about this card yesterday. 99 face-offs, gold quick draw. This boy is a beast. I played against him earlier, and he went off. So, he's making the lineup. Probably going to be my third C, unfortunately. Uh, so that would put, I think, I don't know who I have in my third C right now, but that's just one purple. Let's see who the second one is. And the market's tanked and an 86 Darren Radish. So definitely, definitely fodder for team of the season. And the 93 is what we want to see. God, that's a good pack. That is a good, I didn't expect anything out of a mega pack. You never do. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a couple. No, we do have two more mega packs. Let's keep the Mega Pack luck rolling. And that was our tradable Mega Pack, too. That was, ooh. That's nasty. Straight nasty. And, of course, we're not going to be as lucky. We do pull a Yammer Yager. Um, again, team builders and just getting cards. Because, what, 40 gold players get you a, a team of the season collectible. So, that's nice. That's really nice to have. But wow, that's, that's, a, that's already worth it. It is already worth it. Oh, an 85 Philip Forsberg. That is fodder as well. Um, 
Don't I have to be up? That's actually pretty good too. <laughs> so the packs here are actually kind of good today. I, I feel like EA has started messing with the odds because they know, the content team knows that uh, the game's just about to start falling off with the release of the show tonight. And I plan on not playing this show. I'm not a big baseball fan, so I'll be keeping the NHL content coming. But, uh, yeah, I think I feel like they're already starting to mess with pack odds, make it a little bit better for the players that are sticking around. I mean, why would they give the Toronto pack if they're not going to? I'll just go and get this elite pack out of the way. So, pack odds may have been increased. It just feels like it. It's just a feeling, boys. I could be talking out my ass. And sometimes that happens. That happens to all of us. And, of course, we're not getting much if anything else. But, boys, tell me how y'all have been. Uh, I know at this point, not many of you just stuck around. So, tell me how you are. Tell me how life's going. For me, it's going well. Work's going well. Uh, YouTube's going well. Again, you boys are counting. 85 Eric Carlson. More fodder. That's what I like to see. If we're not going to pull purples, at least pull something good for fodder-wise. And 80 Rasmus Sandin. And those LA King jerseys do look nice. I'm going to start throwing on different jerseys, guys, just because some of these jerseys are just immaculate. The NHL has some of the best jerseys. I know we're just kind of getting off topic here, but they, oh, God, just such good. So good. All right, here's the premium players. I don't think I've ever opened one of these. I got this from Rivals for the first time. 83, Marshan, there we go. And these are all tradable, too, so if I can pull a 90 and get some coins so I have some coins going into Team of the Season, that's always good. I have not been able to sell any of my lower overall cards in the market. I think I've got 85 for Chuck. There we go. And Everly. So we, what do we pulled? Like four 85s, two purples. It's not a bad. That's not a bad at all. And we're gonna end it with the Jumbo Elite, and then we're gonna go into the headliners. It's a great pack. And that Ron Francis is gonna be fantastic, boys. Marsh Salt. I love the night. I love the nights, boys. But, yeah. 85, there we go. 85, Fajmo. Fajmo? Yeah, I'm going to say Fajmo. Or fa Fagamo? Fajmo? I don't know. Uh, Tori Krug. Another purple. 86, Keith Kachuk. You know what, boys? It is fodder. And maybe have enough collectibles to get him to an 87. So, just... It may be, it may be, that may be a worth it, boys. That may be a worthy, uh, worthy investment there. So I'll take the purple. We're gonna get Mike Goulot. Okay, I like the name. I'll stop to look at it. So not bad, and he is sellable. So I don't know what the 86 would sell for and the 85, but we have pulled a lot, a lot of fodder for Team of the Season. I wish I'd have had this much for Team of the Year. I had just started for Team of the Year, so. But here we go, boys. The 85 to 95 starter pack. I'm gonna go ahead and predict a 85 overall just a hunch we've already got our good pull for the day and 85 daryl sittler so you know you can't win them all unfortunately you cannot win them all but boys god that's such a good that was such a good pull that 93 ron francis i talked about him yesterday i was thinking i was like i wanted i wanted him and i wanted to go after him so yeah so it looks like reinhardt and i'm playing with lines right now reinhardt would go down to my third pair my fourth line to play and then McDay is McDavid getting kicked out so yeah it looks like McDavid would be end up getting kicked out and we would end up throwing in the 93 Ron Francis so this is kind of what the team's looking like the team is looking a lot better from where it was just a couple weeks ago I mean the huge pull for Dar uh, Darcy Tucker and then Ryan O'Reilly was a huge pull and then Wayne and Heatley have been on the team forever. Eichels is still here. He's a 94 now, which I got to get. I got to get to work on that, boys. Um, Marner got added to the team. I, I do. I was playing with him for the Leafs, and he was just sniping things left and right. So I just left him on the team. Ryan Hart was a good pull, and Ryan and Morgan Riley was a pull from uh, the Toronto Packs. The defense is the same, and the goalies are the same. We're still rocking Demko. But boys, let me know. Let me know what you thought of this pack opening. I appreciate you all sticking around. Don't forget to don't forget to keep things that matter first: your family, your friends, your mental health, and your physical health. Health. If you haven't done it today, go for a run. Go lift weights. Just before this video, 
I just got done lifting weights. And let me tell you, I feel so much better. And boys, I'm going to talk to you next time. We're going to be here tomorrow to talk about NHL 94 and see what that's all about. Hopefully we get a big time uh, Lindros card. That's, that's kind of the one I've been waiting for. A Lindros card or... Uh, God, there's so many. Maybe there's so many good cars that could possibly be coming. So let's just keep our fingers crossed, boys, and let's keep a good attitude, and I will talk to you all later. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you all. All right. Bye.